Eyewitnesses have told the BBC that three people were shot by men in a military van outside the state house in Umwahia, Abia State, southeast Nigeria. Two people died and one was rushed to hospital. A curfew was declared in the state earlier this week following heightened tensions between the Nigerian army and the secessionist group, the indigenous peoples of Biafra. There have been reports of clashes in the southeastern state of Abia with the movement accusing the Nigerian military of killing several of its members and surrounding the home of its leader, Namdi Kanu. Well, Ifanye Ejofo is Mr. Kanu's lawyer. He told the BBC he believes the military are out to kill his client. The, the fact is that I, I'm not even seeing what they are doing in my house and I, an attempt to arrest him. I get him. It's not an attempt to arrest him. That is, it is a clear mission to eliminate him. It is not an attempt to arrest him. To kill him. Yes, that is what they are doing. Because tell me what they are doing in the room, shooting in the room, and, and also in the parlor. Tell me what military is doing there. This is a matter in court. He comes to court. As I speak to you, I have final action against the federal government and also the military in the federal court of Maya. We have evidence. We have evidence. As I speak to you, we have evidence. We have a video clip. We have the photo photographs of the activity. Well, Brigadier General Sani Usman is spokesman of the Nigerian army. On the line to our Abuja our studio, I asked him why they had invaded Mr. Kanu's compound. It's that assertion is not correct. Nobody invade anybody's compound. Uh, possibly you are referring to the misunderstanding when uh, our troops were passing by, some group of miscreants pelted them with stones and uh, sticks to the point that a female passerby was wounded and one of our soldiers, Corporal Kola Ole Machu, was also wounded. But beyond that, there was no such thing like invading anybody's private property let alone Nandi Kanu's personal residence or his family. So, compound. General, what was the military doing around his house? It is not around his house. You have to be familiar with Amma here town to know where the military was. And the truth is that there are a lot of misinformation and propaganda ongoing. But what happened that day, it was just a misunderstanding between the group of some group of miscreants and the soldiers that were passing by and it was solved immediately there was no such thing at all well they're saying that th some of the uh, ipob supporters were killed but even if you say this did not happen around mr kanu's house surely the military should uh, recognize how sensitive things in the area are now and shouldn't be carrying out a show of force around there what I want you to understand is that uh, the exercise we are about embarking uh, on Friday has been slated since last year, and we have carried similar exercise last year. And we also carried similar exercise in some parts of the country, the essence of which is just to uh, sharpen the skills of our troops in internal security operations. And it is going on simultaneously in five southeastern states including uh, Cross River State. I see no reason why the one in uh, uh, Abia State should be blown out of proportion. And there is no single incidence whatsoever in other states. So what about these pictures that are, are making the rounds on social media? We, we see young boys being beaten by men dressed in uh, military fatigues. Uh, some people look to have been uh, as if they've been shot. Uh, are you saying that these pictures are being staged? If yes, by whom? One thing I want to make clear is that there were a lot of, uh, you know, insinuations and mischievous uh, uh, propaganda going on. Uh, the video in question you are talking about, there was an uh, allegation of uh, some soldiers humiliating or maltreating some people that sus we suspect uh, uh, members of uh, independence people of Biafra. And that issue is being investigated. So far, I'm sure 82 Division has uh, uh, even made some arrests. The whole essence of it is to, uh, you know, discredit the army. But, but, but General, I mean, with all due respect, it's, just, it's not just the IPOB members who are accusing the military. I mean, uh, early this year, uh, Amnesty International came out with a report accusing the Nigerian military, military of heavy-handedness in dealing with this issue. What I want you to understand, uh, Amnesty International allegations, they are not new things. They have been making the same series of allegations for the past 
for or there about years. And in 2016, February to be precise, we were the one who formally invited Amnesty from their London office to come and interface with us to trash out all these allegations, but they said they were not independent enough. Brigadier General Sani Usman of the Nigerian Army.